and then you're just going to start shading, right? So again, I'm starting with the 2H here, and I'm just going to make really small, short lines to fill in this region with 2H. And you know, I've discouraged you from using 4H, but for a super light gray like this, you could try 4H. I just find it tends to be more scratchy because it's so hard. Okay. And again, I will um, fast forward. Okay, so for the second one, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker, and I'm just going to stick with the 2H because I have a little bit of a heavy touch. So I'm just going to make this a little bit darker, especially up here at the top where they meet. There's not that much of a difference, right? Just a little bit darker where they meet so that I can see that there's a different that there is a difference. And then I'm just going to slowly and gradually lighten this up. So um, I ask you, do you have gradients? So gradient comes from the word gradual, and it's a word artists and designers use for when there are gradual changes. And that's really what we're after here. In order to um, in order to draw anything real that has any kind of shape to it, it's going to have a gradual change, like the spoon or the fork is going to gradually go from from light to dark. Just going to really define this without creating a lined border. I just really want a little more definition where those two meet, so that it's obvious that it's three dimensional. And I don't know if you can see, but this is where I'm starting to feel that it's becoming three dimensional. And I don't know if it's because I've often worked as a sculptor and designer of three dimensional things, but this is when I really get satisfied by this process. Um, it just starts to get more exciting when it starts to become three dimensional for me. Um, and I start to be able to coax that. I sort of notice where it's becoming three-dimensional, and I just try to kind of bring that three-dimensional out. So I kind of back up from it and look at it and sort of go, why are you looking three-dimensional, and why, how could you look more three-dimensional? So I noticed I got a little rushed because I'm making a video and I just want to get it over with. Um, so my left brain gets into the act. I got a little rushed here and my strokes got quite a bit longer so you can kind of see them. And I made kind of an errant dark spot there. So I'll show you if you have one of these little gray kneaded erasers, these are great drawing tools. If you just rub super gently with this, you don't want to rub hard because it'll change the paper if you rub hard. But if you rub super gently with this, you can lighten things up with it. So it is also, a, it's not just a remove bad drawing, but it's also a drawing tool. You can lighten things up. I lightened it up a little too much there. Okay, so now I hope you guys can see how this is becoming more three-dimensional. But if you can't now, I'm sure you will soon. I'm going to move to the HB and I'm going to start up here. Pretty dark along this border right here. So now that I've got this face mostly done, I'm going to look at it and just see. And it looks to me like I could come back in here and just build up this shadow a little bit. And again, everything should be gradual. If you see, like, see how there was almost like a stripe there? I'm just going to get rid of that by just blending it out. Okay. If there's some little light spots, I'm just going to go over those gently and just get rid of them. Okay. There's a little bit of a dark streak there I'm sort of sad about, but it's not bad enough to get rid of with an eraser, I don't think. Okay, so now you should really see this starting to um, form a three-dimensional shape. And I'm going to move down to the, um, to the, the part with the um, sh uh, reflection. So I'm just going to start this and then I'll... Um, so again, this is very dark. So I'm taking my just a 6B pencil here, but I'm taking it and I am... Pressing hard, and then I'll fast forward you through this. I'm just going to make, I'm going to try to 
lighten up as I get to the streak, but I'll show you a trick to make the streak. Um, I will try to draw it so that there's a streak, but it's pretty hard to do that just right. So I'll show you a trick to make that streak. All right, and then your eraser, like where I smudged up a little up there, I can just erase this. You can also use your white eraser. Um, the white erasers are, are a little rougher on the paper. Eventually, they ruin the paper. So um, you want to use those lightly and with care if you use them. I'm just going to go back this area. I messed up a little bit with the 6B pencil, so I erased it. And I'm just going back in and fixing that little border. And again, people aren't going to be looking at your work like from um, millimeters away. So if there are small problems with it, don't worry about that. And this little gray mark will um, disappear, obviously, when I draw in the really dark area. So um, this dark shadow or this dark shadowed area. So you can really see how I need <clears throat> how a 6B pencil just doesn't make things pop as much as they could. So I'm going to go back in here looking at my picture. Um, and really try to darken up those areas that are dark, dark, dark. Now notice on the top, it's just a little bit that's almost black and then it quickly fades off as the reflection kind of takes hold. Okay, but down here, it's very, very dark. Down here, kind of as it heads over that way. And yours doesn't have to look exactly like the um, drawing that I'm copying. It could look mostly like it. As long as it pops and becomes three-dimensional, that's the important thing. Okay. So again, I got a little careless over here. So I'm just going to erase that area and just make a nice sharp edge with my eraser. So again, your eraser is an uh, important drawing tool. And even more important now because... Um, say you, I actually did a pretty good job of getting that streak, but say you were a little too dark getting that streak, this is a great way to create highlights. So if you got a highlight in a drawing and you want to create that feeling of that highlight, this is a great way to do it. So I am a little dark over here. The highlight actually starts right at the corner, and I started at a little higher than that, right? So this is a, a really great way to create highlights, all right? So I did that dark one for you to see. Then this next one, again, I'm going to just use straight up HB 8H pencil here. And I've just got to be super careful with this because I don't want to go into the wrong area. I'm just going to use really short strokes as I come down here. So notice I'm not really drawing a line. I'm still going back and forth. I'm just going back and forth really, really short strokes. So I get a nice straight line, and now I can lengthen my strokes a little bit so this doesn't take all day here. But this is, all, is just solid, it looks like. There's no real, um, and again, try not to, um, I even, did you see me? I started to use the tip. Try not to get tempted to use the tip. Just keep using the side of the pencil, even though the little white dots are going to be there. Don't worry about those. Nobody will ever see those. Or it's just part, it's just part of a pencil drawing. So no, now you really should notice this is a little funky here where I was playing with the eraser. So I'd probably go back into it and just get rid of that weird. It's a little too streaky. All right, so now I'm really going to look at this drawing and just see what I can do to make it look more like a three-dimensional object, except one big thing, which is to finish this upper part. And to make that look different from that, I ended up making it look a little too much like the one below it, so I'm just going to... And I just never filled in, oops, I'm just never really filled in this, oop, that's too dark a pencil. Uh, guess I'll go back to the H pencil I was just using. Get rid of this, this spot. So I'm just going to darken this in. 
just a little bit more. I think I added 2V a second ago, and it was just too dark. Just no way to make it not super dark. Okay, and now I would draw the table, right, around it and um, finish up my drawing. 